Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick, and I'm here to make you into a lean, mean building machine. We're going to take it step by step and put together the coolest Lego sets out there so that you will have the tools and tricks you need to build whatever crazy thing you can imagine. Alright everybody, we're back with our Lego Land Rover Defender, set number 42110. Today we're doing part 5 of bag 3, so let's get into it. Alright, so last time... We ended off part four on step um, 459. So this time we're at 460, page 272. So what we're gonna do first off is we can set our entire build aside and we're gonna do some smaller assembly. Let's get, um, it's a one by three black, uh, tile. So one by, or actually a one by four. One by four black tile. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And um, let's get also these little black. Like, it's like a one by two plate with a clip hole off the bottom of it. We need two of those. And then we're going to put them along the bottom of this tile. Just like that, okay? And now, let's grab, let's go to 461. We need two of these small tan clips. And they're going to go in opposite directions. So, you guys are looking at it like this. Um, this far hole that's on the edge is going to get a clip going up like that. And the other one is going to be going down. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So, then... Uh, we're going to go to 462. We need two of these tiny uh, little white single round studs. And then we're also going to grab two of these transparent red uh, square single studs. We're going to go into these little gaps in between those clip holes with the white pieces first and then the transparent red pieces you're going to go right on top of them okay so that's done like that then 463 we need to get this black thin piece that is Five spaces long. It has three clip holes in the center and X bar holes in the sides. One of those is going to go with the one of the side clip holes clipped into the tan half clip that's um, closer to the middle. Okay, like that. And then for 64. I'm going to grab another one of those thin five space long black pieces. There we go. And let's get. Um, but we also need one of these black clips that's a uh, two space long X bar and clip. And then we need one of these little black pieces with the x-bar hole and clip hole and we need another tan khaki clip okay so in the call out box we're going to put this black pin with the x-bar hole the x-bar goes through the x-bar hole in the end of this black piece like this from your guys perspective and then the half clip 
part of the tan clip is going to go into this opposite hole. Like that, so that the clips are on the same side. And then, this other black piece is going to go with the X-bar hole into that X-bar clip, into the back of it, like that, okay? And then, this whole thing is going to go onto here to where the part that's this part that's hanging down here is going to go off the back right here so this is going to clip on like that and this little remainder part of the X bar is going to go into this X bar hole okay clip all that together all right so that's holding all together like that then in 465, we need a khaki piece that is um, five holes wide. I don't know, actually seven is what we're looking for. Let's see, seven. There we go. Um, this is going to go in with the the end hole is going to go into this black clip, and then the other the tan clip will go into the fourth hole. Clean that up like that. Okay. And then 466, we're going to get a one of these black um, nine space long beams and we are going to put a bunch of clips in this. So in the call out box, we are going to put six different clips. We need three of our small black clips. Two, three, and we're gonna put three of our large blue clips. Okay, so in the bottom here we're gonna push, it looks like from the back, you're gonna push the longer part of the blue clips in here so that it's centered across the beam like that. Two of them in the end holes, and then you're gonna skip a hole and in the back here, you're going to put three of these black clips into the three center holes. And then in the very end, or no, you're going to do the second from the end on this side. Put one more of those blue clips through. Okay, and now this is going to go to where the two blue clips on the opposite side that doesn't have these black clips, that is going to go into this olive green piece, okay? And those two exposed holes there. So it lines up like that. And then we'll go to 467, where we are going to take um, a brown X bar with a cap, and we're going to take another one of these small black pieces where is it there we go and one of these clip um, sleeve things in black the clip sleeve is going to go into this middle black clip and then the I go on the, the same side as the green beam. We're going to put this black piece into that blue clip. And then this brown X bar is going to come from the back side like this. And it's going to go through just enough to stop before it's exposed out the side. Okay? That. Now in 468. We need to get an L-shaped black piece like this. The foot portion is three holes, and then we have five holes on the leg portion. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to stand it up like this. And we are going to take our top leg hole, and we're going to put it in this very bottom blue clip, sticking out with the toe pointing down so that it's going away from these lights, okay? that and then we're going to take this whole thing we're going to grab our main assembly let's look at it like this 
this. And in this back corner, so the driver side rear, we are looking for this clip here. This blue clip is going to go into, let's see. Blue clip is going to go into this middle hole on the foot portion of that L-shaped piece. And then at the same time, this hole is going to go into this black clip that's sticking out from the bumper, okay? That and like that. Okay. So this is kind of flexible in here. All right, so that was um, 469. We're going to go to 470. And we're going to put this away. I think we're just going to make a mirrored piece for the other side. So we'll go a little bit quicker. Um, let's see, 470. We'll get this 1x4 tile in black. And a couple more of those little clip under cleats. Stick those on there. And these little khaki clips and 471 this time we're gonna go from that side for the outside hole and the inside hole is gonna come from that side okay then 472 a couple more of these transparent red pieces and a couple little white pieces go into the gaps there and the white pieces behind the red will help help the red shine a lot more than if you just put red straight onto black and then in 473 let's get one of these guys and it's gonna go on to this side like that and then 474, let's make one of these dudes in the call-out box. This guy, and one of these clips, and one of these guys, and another khaki clip. Okay. So, this guy is going to go that, this on the end, and this goes here. Okay, so like that is how they have it oriented in the instructions. And then we will clip this, let's see, that into there, that, so that X bar pin goes all the way in. Then 475, we need our seven spaced olive piece. It's going to go into the clips with the two holes hanging out the side. And 476, we have our nine hole long black piece with three blue clips and three black clips. And okay, we are once again gonna go into end. Then we're gonna skip one. And then this side, the opposite side this time, three black clips. And then another blue clip and second to last hole. Then take this like that. That from your guys' point of view. Then and 477. Um, these little light pieces are hard to come by. This might be one of the last ones of those. Okay, then oh, maybe the shorter brown X bar with the pin and those clip sleeves. 
So the clip sleeve is going to go in the middle hole. This is going to go on to opposite side of the black clips with the pin through here like that. Okay, so that one's all done. 478. We are actually going to add more to this. Right. Yeah, it doesn't have us add that yet. Um, okay, let's set this aside and we'll go to 478. Um, and actually, 478 is a good place to stop. So we will come back next time with part six of bag three. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, give us a like and a subscribe if you can. And we'll see you next time.